Well, three men now sharing nine All-Ireland medals. Noel Skeen, the goalkeeper, won a couple of those as a substitute. Many on the field as well, but Henry Shefflin's the first one to win all nine on the field of play. And a great day for Walter Walsh here. Here he is. Tremendous performance, really. Plays for Tulliher Ross Birkin, a UCD student. And he comes on, makes his debut in this replay and scores a goal and three points. Yeah, that's what dreams are made of, Gerard. You know, at Brian Cody, you know, if these things don't work out, it was a huge gamble in some people's books, but I didn't feel it was because he was leaving his options open. He had Colin Fenley and Adrian Fogarty to come in. But Walt, that was a huge part, I think, of the win of this game. Walter Walsh kept Johnny Cohn completely out of the game. Now, you don't normally have to keep cornerbacks out of the game, but Johnny Cohn has been so influential and setting up so many of the Galway moves. Brian Cody pinpointed him, put Walter Walsh on him to win possession, and he ended up scoring 1-3 as well. So that worked hugely. And you see Henry Shefflin there again. You know, Brian Cody, Henry Shefflin. They're joined at the hip since 99. Henry Shefflin has started every championship match since 1999 for Kilkenny. It's incredible. But that's you know, 62 60, championship, 62 championship yeah. matches. He's had two crucial ligaments. He's had a serious shoulder injury. He's come back from them all. And he's here now. He's here in the middle of the field being interviewed. Let's hear Henry. For my family at home, you know, to be the only man in Ireland, myself and Noel Hickey today, to win nine Ireland Ireland medals, it's absolutely special, Anna. Absolutely thrilled. And once again, you've led from the front and a terrific performance from all of the Kilkenny forwards today. Yeah, I think we knew the last night we didn't work hard enough, and that was one of the things we've we've won our Ireland down through the years, so our work rate, and uh, I think today the lads just upped it completely, and uh, we knew because Galbys are after putting up to us twice this year already, and we knew it had to be a big performance out of us, so we're absolutely thrilled the way it went, and uh, you know, I suppose there were some question marks hanging over us, and uh, I think we answered them today. Terrific performance, congratulations, Henry. Thanks very much, there. thank you. Well, he's one of the greatest sportsmen I think I've ever seen, arguably the greatest player of his generation and so Kilkenny now come up the steps here to take that McCarthy Cup back with a Rockard Cody there the kit manager very very popular figure the fans have had a great day out and Brian Cody as a player he won four All-Ireland medals himself but as a coach and as a manager his record is unparalleled and unlikely to be ever succeeded heaven help anybody who replaces Brian Cody Wallam Trace Lou O'Cree, the Farrow Wine, Agus and Neil O'Cree, Ega and you. Cogordicus Henry, Agus and Neil O'Cree, Tadde and you. Thank you very much. Wallam Wilkes of all, the Guinness Centre, Agus Etihad, Agus and Uriya, the Hogan Shield, and Craig Shaw. Agus is Kush Ohish. Agus and Nora Dominic, Kern and Verma, our own Larkin, Captain Kilkenny, Kogardagas Kilkenny. Liam O'Neill, GAA president, handing over the Liam McCarthy Cup to Owen Larkin of James Stevens, captain of Kilkenny, champions of Ireland, All Ireland winners 2012. Celebration time. Very, very popular captain Owen Larkin. Had a great game in the league final when they won that back in May. And now he's captained the team in the replay to win the championship. Neil Misha, Augie Glocka, and Carl Shaw, their son, Mutar Kalakarik! <laughs> G 
Cowan Wigus, the got dinner. A cowan we get a coroner, book into Risham Lina. It's a great honour and I stand up here. I collect this call on behalf of these Kenny players. We've had great times in the past, and today is another chapter in that story. Before I go any further, I want to mention one man. This man has suffered more than most in the hands of injuries, and still he comes back. If you're looking for a role model, for dedication, for leadership, for hurling skill, this is the man you pick. That man is Michael Rice. As you know, success doesn't come easy, and there's a lot of people we have to thank for that. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors, and more Glambia. They've been fantastic over the last number of years, and again this year was no different. Thanks a million. I'd like to thank our own county board, led by Paul Kingsland and Ned Quinn. They're doing thankless work, but again they're doing a great job. Thanks a million. I'd like to thank my own club, James Stevens, for giving me this great honour. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank Eamon Langton and the staff at Langton House Hotel for looking after us all year. Thanks a million, Eamon. I'd like to thank our backroom staff, starting with our doctor, Dr. Ty Crowley. Our dietitian Noreen Roach. Our physios, Neil Byrne, John Kearns and Kevin Curran. Thanks a million. I'd like to thank our kid man, Dennis Racker Cody. And now on to the three wise men. Martin Fogarty has been a revelation in Kenny since he came on board. I think they're now calling them stats all. Thanks a million, Martin. And to Mick Dempsey, our physical trainer. I think he has to be regarded as one of the best trainers in Ireland at this present time. Thanks a million, Mick. And on to the next man. Well, what can you say? The only record we want to know is nine on Ireland senior hurling titles for Kilkenny. Maximilian Brian Cody. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank Galway. It was a great sport and game. You've come, you've come on an awful lot over the year and you've took your first Lancer title. I have no doubt you'll be back again. Three cheers for Galway. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. One more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, up to Kenny. Lee McCarthy is coming home to the door once more. week a little duet so Kilkenny take the trophy once again and it's a Kilkenny team that has never won an all well only once ever have they won an All-Ireland without scoring a goal during the course of the championship that was back in 1947 but today there were goals yeah there wasn't there wasn't there three goals today and you know 
maybe not have the most cl classic uh, goals we've ever seen from Kilkenny. But you know, you have to think of Galway as well, Joe. What a year they've had. Uh, won the first ever Leinster Championship, historic. They played some brilliant hurling all year, and you know, you feel sorry. Here's the first goal, good save by James Gale and Richie Power, predator there, you know, just in on the ball, quickly adjusted there and one handed. And again, here another ball being blocked down, this time by Fergal Flannery, and again, Walter Walsh coming in this time. And that, you know, young, young lads at home watching, that's what you do, you follow in every ball, you wait for it to break out for you, and then Colin Fenn. It's amazing how similar the three goals were, they were all just sort of tap ins from five or six yards, one handed, two of them, and uh, that's what can Kenny do. But you know, I was just saying about Galway there, Jared, you know, they've really brightened up this championship. It's a terrible for them to be beaten like that. You take Joe Cannon, you could see it in his face there. You know, to have such a year, to, you know, to score one nine the last nine points today, and to be beaten like that in the Ireland final. But you know, to have, as I say, produce some brilliant hurling, some great sportsmen on their team, and they will be back. And I'm not patronising them. I think Anthony Cunningham has brought a different attitude to them. Uh, you know, there's a harder edge about them this year. But at the end of the day, it's all about Kilkenny, and uh, there's Richie Power now. I don't yeah. think. I don't know if that's his own young lad, I don't know. I don't know much about it. Looks, it looks like another generation of like powers a, it, to it me. It looks like another power, all right, yeah, there's a lot of them down there. Young John coming as well, the under 21s. And I had a cup of coffee with Richie Senior the other morning, and he was nervous about the game. You know, Galway really spooked him this year, but fantastic display by Kilkenny, and well done. Yes, Kilkenny the champions, thank you, Michael. Final score it's Kilkenny, three goals and 22 points. Galway, three goals and 11. Victory for Kilkenny, Michael. And your commentators on today's All-Ireland Hurling final replay were Jerry Canning and Michael Dyken. In front of an attendance today, this final, by the way, of 82,274. Liam Sheedy, Jarlok Nan and Tomás Mulcahy here with me in studio as we watch the victory celebrations. Uh, Liam Sheedy, midway through that second half, as Kilkenny were beginning to get into their gear and running right, you said to me, no doubt, there's some team, as you know, yeah, as I know well, uh, they are some team. I thought, you know, right throughout this game, they just they, they were very, very strong today, right throughout. You know, they scored 111 in the first half, 211 in the second half, right throughout. You know, they were just on top in every sector. And, you know, I know the lads felt that Galway had a chance at halftime, but I did fear for Galway because I just felt looking out that every player in the Kilkenny position looked to be on top of their game. They were winning 13, 14 out of 15 positions, and it was going to be really hard to turn around. And in fairness to Galway, you know, created the chance or two. We're lucky, you know, could have got it back to a point. If they did, maybe who knows what would have happened. But you just have to credit. I mean, they're the best team I've ever seen to play this game of hurling. You know, they're after winning six of the last seven, nine of the last 13. They're amazing champions. They do it year in, year out. Uh, to Brian Cody, to all of the Kilkenny players, they deserve huge credit. I mean, they've taken this game over the last number of years to a new level, and they've challenged every other county to get up there with them. And at the moment, um, let, let's be honest about it, people are struggling to get to their level. They've won so much down through the years, Gerlach now, and the players, and Kilkenny as a county that, you know, you may try to say to yourself, maybe we've done enough, and yet they come bounce back here today and, and clinch that All-Ireland. Well, you know, I was thinking back there to uh, the autumn of 1998, which is a long time ago, and I heard that Brian Cody was appointed manager of Kilkenny. You know, I was still involved with Clare at that time, and the one comment I had was, we are all in trouble now. <laughs> I didn't realise that we'd be in this trouble. kind of trouble, <laughs> yeah. that it would lead to nine All-Irelands, you know. It is just, uh, uh, it's just exceptional <laughs> what they have done. And the hunger they have maintained over the year, the desire to win, the enjoyment they get out of winning. Look at mm. Brian Cody's face at the end of the game there after nine All-Irelands. Look at the enjoyment he gets out of it. The enjoyment all the players get out of it. And we have to salute Henry Shefflin. Has started every one of those games. Michael Rice, one Michael of those Rice missed out today. But you know, you can, he, you always a player injured like that. Can, you know, he can make a big contribution behind the scenes as well. But going back to Henry, he has started every game since night, every championship game since 1999. Yeah. Never missed one. In the meantime, he went through two, two yeah. three career potentially yes. ca yeah. career in the in, 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 injuries. And here he's back with his ninth All Ireland, the only man who has won nine All Irelands on the field. A unique place in history. 